They say every house tells a story. For Lisa and John, their new home was about to narrate a chilling tale. Meet Lisa and John, a vibrant young couple who recently embarked on their journey of home ownership by purchasing an old, charming house. The house, a relic from the past, was filled with character and history that breathed life into their dreams of a perfect home. Their excitement was palpable as they walked through the creaky wooden floors, discussing plans for renovation. Lisa, an interior designer, had visions of modern aesthetics blending with the house's vintage charm. John, a practical engineer, was already planning the structural changes to make the house more livable. Their conversations echoed through the empty rooms, filling the space with hope, dreams, and laughter. The house, standing silent for years, was now buzzing with new life. Yet, as they planned and dreamed, an eerie presence lurked in the shadows. Little did they know, they were not alone in this journey. As the couple delved into the renovation, the house began revealing its secrets. The old residence, with its creaking floors and shadowy corners, was more than just a fixer-upper. It was a Pandora's box of mysteries waiting to be unfolded. With each room they refurbished, peculiar things started to happen. Tools would go missing, only to reappear in the most unlikely places. A hammer would vanish from the workbench and turn up in the bathroom. A paintbrush would disappear from the living room and reappear in the attic. It was as though the house itself was playing a twisted game of hide-and-seek. The strange occurrences didn't stop there. At night, when the world outside was silent and still, the house seemed to come alive. Disturbing noises echoed through the hallways, a symphony of eerie creaks and groans, like the house was protesting the changes they were making. And then there were the footsteps, soft muffled thuds that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere at once. But perhaps most disconcerting of all was the feeling of being watched. They could never shake off the sensation that unseen eyes were observing their every move, following them from room to room. It was a feeling that crawled under their skin, an invisible presence that was always there, always watching. The couple tried to dismiss these unsettling signs as mere products of their imagination, amplified by the stress of the renovation and the stories they'd heard about the house's past. They convinced themselves it was all in their minds, a trick of the light, a quirk of the old building. They believed they were in control, that they were the masters of the house. But they were wrong. The house was not just an inanimate structure of bricks and mortar. It was alive, breathing, watching. It had a will of its own, and it was beginning to assert its dominance. The house was whispering its dark secrets, but they weren't listening. Not yet. Beneath their feet lay a secret waiting to be discovered. The day was just like any other, filled with the sound of hammering and the smell of fresh paint. Our couple, let's call them Jane and John, were in the midst of renovating their newfound paradise. While clearing out the old wooden panels in the living room, Jane's foot slipped through the flooring. She let out a shriek, more out of surprise than pain. John rushed over, pulling her up gently. But what caught their attention was not Jane's bruised ankle, but a hidden trap door, dusty and aged as if it hadn't been opened for decades. A hidden door leading to a cellar, right there in their living room. A detail conveniently left out of the house listing. A wave of surprise washed over them. Their eyes met, a silent conversation passing between them. There was an unspoken agreement. They would wait until morning to explore this newfound mystery. After all, who knew what could be lurking in the darkness beneath their feet? As the sun began to rise the next day, they gathered their courage and a couple of flashlights. Down the creaky wooden steps they went, the air growing colder with each step. The silence was broken only by their shallow breaths and the occasional squeak of a rat scampering away. The dank smell of the cellar was overwhelming, a mix of damp earth and something else, something they couldn't quite place. They turned their flashlights around, the beams dancing on the damp stone walls. There was an eerie sense of anticipation like the cellar was waiting, holding its breath. What secrets did it hold? What stories were etched into its cold, dark corners? As they ventured deeper, a sense of unease began to creep up on them. The light from their flashlights seemed too weak against the consuming darkness, but they kept going, driven by a curiosity that was now tinged with a sense of dread. Who knew that curiosity could lead to such a dark revelation? 
they were about to find out in the chilling depths of the hidden cellar. The next day, as they descended into the cellar, the air grew colder and the silence deafening. The couple, armed with nothing more than their curiosity and a flickering flashlight, ventured deeper into the forgotten underbelly of their new home. Each step on the wooden staircase creaked under their weight, echoing in the darkness like a warning from the house itself. The cellar was a labyrinth, a network of rooms and corridors that twisted and turned in a way that seemed to defy the architecture of the house above. Dusty shelves lined the walls, groaning under the weight of old forgotten belongings. Each artifact was a breadcrumb, a clue left behind by the previous occupants. A child's toy, a woman's locket, a man's hat. Each item seemed to whisper a story of its own, a tale of a time that had been buried quite literally under the house. As they sifted through the relics of the past, they found an old newspaper clipping. It was yellowed with age, the ink faded but still legible. The headline screamed of a gruesome tragedy that had once befallen the house. A chill ran down their spines as they read the article, their flashlight casting long, eerie shadows on the concrete walls. The house, it seemed, had a past that was as dark and twisted as the cellar itself. The deeper they delved into the cellar, the more its secrets began to unravel. They found an old diary, its pages brittle and brown with age. The entries were cryptic, filled with fear and despair. The words painted a picture of a family torn apart by something sinister, something that lurked within the house. The cellar was not just a storage space, it was a mirror reflecting the house's grim history. It was a Pandora's box holding within its depths tales of horror and sorrow that had been locked away for decades, and now the couple had unwittingly opened it, letting loose the ghosts of the past. The cellar was a time capsule, a snapshot of a time best forgotten. As they ascended back into the light, they couldn't shake off the feeling that they were not alone. The house was alive, and it had begun to share its ghastly secrets. In the darkest corner of the cellar, they found something that made their blood run cold. The couple had been carefully navigating the musty cellar, their torchlights dancing on the damp stone walls, when they stumbled upon a sight that froze them in their tracks. Hidden under a pile of forgotten debris, they uncovered human remains. A chilling realization swept over them as they pieced together the horrifying secret that had been buried in the depths of their new home. The skeletal remains, shockingly human, painted a macabre picture that was hard to digest. But the discovery didn't end there. Next to the remains was a diary that bore the name of the previous owner. The cover was worn and the pages yellowed with age, but the words written inside were as clear as day. They spoke of a tale so gruesome it was almost unbelievable. As they leafed through the diary, each entry seemed to hint at a crime of unspeakable horror. The words, written in a shaky hand, narrated a tale of guilt and remorse, of a deed done in the heat of passion that had resulted in an end most tragic. The entries were disjointed, filled with regret and fear, a testament to the torment the writer had endured. The couple sat in stunned silence the weight of their discovery heavy in the air. The joy of their new home had been replaced by a sense of dread. They had unearthed a secret that had been laying dormant, a secret that the house had held for years. The cellar, they realized, was not just a cellar, but a tomb, a chilling reminder of a past best forgotten. They had hoped for a fresh start in their new home, but instead they had stumbled upon a horrifying secret. They had unearthed a tale of guilt, remorse, and a crime that had been covered up by the sands of time. They had unearthed a secret that the house had held for years, but now the question was, what were they going to do about it? As they stood there, the weight of their discovery sinking in, they heard something. The chilling echo of footsteps permeated the eerie silence of the house, reverberating down into the depths of the cellar. The couple froze, their hearts beating in a wild rhythm that mirrored their escalating fear. They were supposed to be alone, yet the unmistakable sound of footsteps from upstairs suggested otherwise. A cold shiver ran down their spines as they clung to each other, the darkness in the cellar suddenly feeling a lot more ominous. Each creak of the wooden floor above seemed to amplify their terror, their minds racing with dreadful possibilities. 
what could be lurking in the shadows of their new home. Their breath hitched, the seller's secret casting a horrifying spell around them. Paralyzed by fear, they were trapped in a haunting dilemma. Would they confront the unseen presence, or would they become part of the house's dark history? Only time would tell.